You're doing well a couple of videos ago i asked what you guys wanted to see from me and so many people wanted to see a jewelry collection i want to do one of those but i have so much jewelry Maybe i could do a jewelry essentials video eventually but i need to figure that out first i thought in the meantime i would show you all of my rings because i don't have too many of those and then some of my favorite hoops i can show you some of my favorite necklaces too for my rings i have them all in this heart container that i got off of depop i have all my most worn silver pieces honestly i think i got most of these from depop so i'm not exactly sure i'll try to link down below some similar pieces and then i have pieces from adina's jewels i have some from majori and then i have some from this other instagram brand that i got a bunch of gold pieces from i have one ring from brandy melville and then i have my cartier ring that i wear almost every single day for my favorite hoops, keep them in this jar that I got whenever I was in Dubai. I have two pairs of gold basic hoops that are my go-to from Majore. I have a pair of plain gold chunky hoops and then another pair of gold twisted hoops that I wear often. I also have these Dior ones that I used to wear a lot. I don't really wear them too much anymore. And then for silver, I have a pair of chunky smaller ones that I wear occasionally. And then actually the ones that I'm wearing right now are my go-to silver chunky hoops. These are actually from Brandy Melville that I got a very long time ago. But I do have these tiny gold hoops that I wear almost every single day i typically am wearing gold jewelry but if my outfit looks better with silver i'll change out of that into silver pieces to bed and showering in and just like everyday wear i have these tiny gold hoops of a medium pair and then a smaller pair that i think i got from majori i'm not exactly sure but i'll look it up and have it on the screen for silver necklaces i honestly go to the set that i have on right now i have a plain silver chain and then another silver chain that has a seven on it i honestly cannot remember where the plain one is from maybe depop i'm not exactly sure but you can find that anywhere and then the seven i got from this brand called overschooled i don't know if that brand is still around anymore so i'll link something similar down below the gold chain that i've been wearing almost every single day is from adina's jewels they sent me this gold initial necklace that is so cute i love wearing that i'm trying to think of what other gold necklaces i wear Okay, let's go in my closet. In my closet, I have these two necklace holders that I got from the container store. This is where I keep all of my necklaces. I have all my gold ones on the bottom, and then the top one is obviously all of my silver ones and kind of just more fun necklaces as well. I really actually gravitate towards these two thick chains that I have. I actually got the shorter one off of Depop. I'll have it linked down below, and then I think the longer one is from Amazon. And then I also wear this one, the 1998. I think this is from Vibe Season. And then I have have these two longer pendant necklaces from Majore and I wear those a lot too. I wear the other ones too but those are kind of the ones I gravitate towards more. I thought I would just show you guys some of my favorite pieces because like I said a jewelry collection was very requested but I have this jewelry box. I have a lot of jewelry in here and it's from a bunch of random brands. It would just take me forever to go through a jewelry collection and try everything on for you guys but I wanted to show you guys more of my go-to pieces and maybe I can do an essentials video down the line whenever I kind of figure out what my essentials are so i hope that it was helpful and i will have links to everything down in the description box
thought it'd be fun to film a what's in my bag segment before the sun goes down because I have not cleaned out my bag in a very long time and this will give me an excuse to while showing you realistically what's in my bag. Got this bag off of the Real Real. I love it. It fits my vlog camera and my phone and actually a lot, even my disposable if I'm bringing that out. I use other bags too, but this is just my go-to. First, we have my card holder. I obviously just have my cards in here, my ID, my ID in here. I got this card holder a very long time ago. You can probably find it on the Real Real. I have the name of it down below if you're interested in it. Then we have hand sanitizer, obviously. I always use this one and just refill it. So this actually isn't the one with aloe. I don't like the one with aloe. It makes my it makes my hands sticky for some reason. Then we have my car keys. <laughs> car keys. I don't have a car here. We have my apartment keys. I have pepper spray on it that my dad got me before I moved to New York like five years ago. I have this cute thing that Michael made me. And then obviously my keys. Then I have a lot of band-aids. The backs of my heels bleed a lot walking around in New York because I wear shoes that are uncomfortable. I need to break them in. So I always just carry some band-aids with me. That is the worst when you're bleeding through your socks, you're walking around and your feet hurt a lot. So we have band-aids for that. Some lactate pills if I'm eating cheese or something like that. Don't really think these work, so I just try to avoid dairy altogether. I have a Perel hand sanitizing wipe just in case. I have my AirPods in here, a necessity whenever you're walking around. Uh, and then I have nail glue, just in case. I don't have fake nails on right now, but I hate whenever one of my nails breaks, so I always like to carry glue with me. Then I have a bunch of change, which I don't even know where this came from. I really don't use cash or change in the city. I'm not really sure how I have this. The next item I have is a chapstick. I need to be applying chapstick continuously to my lips. I think I'm addicted to it, which is probably so bad, but I just cannot stand it my lips are chapped and then i have a lip liner i always just carry around a lip liner because it's really the only makeup product that i continuously re reapply throughout the day this kkw beauty one that i got a really long time ago this is in the shade nude one okay and then the last item that i have in here is this hand cream i am continuously washing my hands right now and on top of that applying hand sanitizer so my hands are dry all the time i've been trying to apply hand cream more recently so this is the one i use it smells good i like it that is everything in my bag and it is dirty inside so i'm going to wipe it down there's lip liner everywhere crumbs i don't even know hope you enjoyed